Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to you for Byzantium, episode 50 for the series. Last time we left off, we had joined Bavaria in a war against the uh, the, Palatine, uh, the Palatine, and uh, we're fighting Spain, we're fighting the Papal State. A couple other people jumped in, and uh, probably going to be um, a pretty tough war, actually. Hoping to win and uh, gain some more favors, some more trust with Bavaria, and if we do that, then... Uh, uh, hopefully we can expect them to help join us uh, in some of our wars in the future. So we can see there the Commonwealth and Spain kind of floating around with some pretty big navies, which is actually why I went ahead and uh, ported my navy because I didn't want to lose it. Uh, we already did lose our navy to a pretty big war uh, a while back, and I just don't want to put up with that again. So figured that was probably the best way to do it. We don't have a general right now. We are saving up our military power to tech up to level 17, which I think is pretty important. So that's what we're waiting for. They're going to try to blockade us, force us out of the war that way. How's Bavaria doing? They're actually going to probably lose the war if we don't go help. Um, I don't know if I can go help, though. I don't think I can get to them, uh, to be honest with you. Of peace with the former enemies of Bavaria and the former will be forced to give Bavaria 10% of their income. Byzantium will get eight of this amount. Okay. And we forced one of the countries out of the, the war, so that's pretty good. It was a small country, but every little bit helps with the war score. Um. However, we are losing the war. So I guess I should probably get up there and help. Because if I want to actually get the favors, then I've got to help. Can I get to them? It looks like I can. So let's just march my armies up there. And uh, see what we can't do to help a little bit. Um, it's looking kind of ugly right now. Austria's getting beat up here by some Dutch separatists. Korea has some internal conflict going on. Yeah, how are you doing? You actually winning that more? Kind of. It's pretty 50-50 right now. Persia, you still at war with the Mamluks? You are. Commonwealth, how you doing? All right. There you go. So my army is going ahead and marching up. Taking some attrition because they're actually extremely large armies. I might have to split them up. Um, that's just something I might have to do. Keep improving relations with France to try to keep them on our good side. Improve relations with Sweden. I'm just trying to get everybody around me to kind of like me a little more than they already do. Um, it's funny enough, Portugal would take an alliance. We're not going to ally Portugal because they abandoned us uh, when that war started with the Commonwealth. So, not really looking for any friends with Portugal. But we'll go ahead and improve relations with them just to try to keep everybody around us kind of nice. Um, you know who I haven't improved relations with? Uh, Hungary. Let's go ahead and improve relations with them a little bit. Because we've got the diplomats to do it, so why not? Okay. France. Yeah, we're pretty maxed out with France. We call our diplomat. Alright, we got pretty large armies, so why don't we go up here and try to help these guys win some of this war. Fran uh, Spain marching around with a 44k stack. Probably just something to think about. That army actually got beat, so why don't we turn around and see if we can't do some damage to Spain's army, since it looks like they're coming for us anyways. Is anybody going to join me, Nuremberg? It looks like some people are going to join me, so why don't we just all meet right here? Now, we don't have a general, so it's going to make a pretty big difference. Are we going to get there first? I th yep, we got there first, so they actually took the negative modifier for river crossing. So we should actually, as long as nobody comes up here and joins them, like the Papal State, which I'm expecting to happen, but if they don't come up here and join them, we should win. It's, ooh, it's, wow, it's pretty close, actually. That's right, Spain's got a better military than us. It's something we got to think about. And yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade to Military Tech 17, because that'll make a pretty big difference. All right. Good. And, uh... Bavaria, I think, turned around and came down here. Did somebody come and join us? Either way, we won, just barely, but we did win. 
Um, that could have actually been pretty ugly. They should actually retreat f fairly far, so we should be good there. Um, getting a, got a positive war score now because we've won some pretty large battles. Um, and they actually caught that army down there. Um, Frankfurt did. Frankfurt's got a large army. Oh, no, they're, with, they're paired up with Savoy. All right, we're taking some damage here, so let's move. I'd say overall, I think this war is kind of going our way a little bit. Uh, move our army down here. We'll help these guys maybe siege this fort back or something. I'm not sure, but we'll head down here and prep our armies in a in a good location. I think that's a good idea. Once we actually start taking land, we should see that war score jump up a little bit more. It's all right. We should get another royal marriage back at some point. Bosnia there, fighting Bosnia pretender rebels and losing. Are we getting sieged yet? Surprisingly, no. I was definitely expecting somebody to be sieging us. Oh, here they come. 29k from Spain. Um, Actually, not that worried about that right now. Okay, we could potentially go fight... Papal States Army, Tech 17. I'm also Tech 17. Wish I had a general. I'm kind of wondering if Savoy would join me if I did that. Why don't we go help him take this back? Oh. Okay, fine. Let's go help him fight these guys off real quick. Pretty equal um, when it comes to how much damage each person's doing, but obviously we definitely have the larger army, so that won us the war right there. Twelve percent. Uh, where's Spain's army? There it is. I could go fight that army. Technically, I should probably go fight that army. Um, but I really want to help up here because I want to get this war won. Um, they're beating up the. The uh, Trier is getting beat up pretty good, actually. Trier is our ally, aren't they? No, they're our enemy. Good, and they're actually got a pretty low war enthusiasm, so hopefully they'll get forced out. In fact, everybody's got a pretty low war enthusiasm on that side. I think the war is going to be definitely be ours. Oh, stack of 45. We got to move. Wait, hold on. Are they coming or not? Okay, try your peace out. That's good. So everybody can focus their armies in kind of better locations. You can see Spain's kind of marching this way. So I'm not going to go over there and do anything with my land just yet. Until we figure out what Spain is doing. That's alright. I figure that army's got to be coming over here. Bavaria seems to think the same thing. He's actually trying to catch him. Yep, he's coming here. That's fine. We're going to jump in there. Bavaria's going to jump in there. Spain's going to get wrecked. It's going to be hilarious. Yeah, I don't even need Bavaria, but they're going to jump in anyways. That's a look at that army. 133k. That's just insane. Yeah, that'd be a pretty pretty good victory. Oop, and the Papal State coming up here just at the right time. Figure I'll jump in and try to do some damage to them. See if anybody would join me maybe. They're actually going to go join up with Spain. Okay, I should probably come head back to my lands and fight this army off. And get my land back. Oh, tricky. Favor neither party. Side with the clergy, side with the nobility. Who gets what? That's the question. Side with the clergy. The clergy has to get 10 loyalty. The nobility loses 10 loyalty. The 10 influences to lose 10. Influence. Or they gain 10 team. Lose 10 influence. You will go with that. Although that does put them dang that puts them in a dangerous position because they do have a little high influence now at 80%. Can I lower that with one of these? I 
They usually gain influence with these. Except that when they lose 10 loyalty. I could use the manpower right now. Let's hold off just a little bit. Maybe save it for an emergency. Are you going to beat them? It looks like it. I couldn't really turn around anyways and stop that. Is We still have overextension, don't we? Yeah, let's go ahead and make that a core. They are going to win that just barely. I'm waiting for Spain to come up here and fuck everything up. Oh, they eight Savoy's coming in too. It doesn't matter. They won. Okay, good. My army's moving down here. We're going to try to... They're building up right now. They're resupplying with uh, manpower. So we're going to come down here. We'll crush Spain's army real quick. Take back our land. That'll make a pretty big difference with the war score. If we get our land back. Um, but we do get a ticking war score actually counting up. So that is good. Um, the only one that's actually got any war enthusiasm is the, uh, Spain and the Papal State. And Cologne just actually peaced out. Um, I do not want Defender of the Faith. Did I get anything? Oh, I got 265 of that amount. I got 265 ducats from that. What is my... Um, wow, participation score is 41%. That's actually really high. Yeah, my war exhaustion is pretty high. Let's go ahead and deal with that right now. And just get that over with. Yep, we'll go ahead and deal with that. Wait for my army to kind of build up a little bit. And I do have some ducats, so why don't we go ahead real quick. Um, and put some buildings down. Get some temples going. Yeah, I would like to build one of these, but... Land force limit would be nice. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and hit them real quick and we can ungarrison our troops. Maybe. What am I missing? It's because they got a, that shouldn't make a difference. Okay, go up there first and take that, I guess. It must just be because this is taken. So we'll go ahead and work on getting that back. How's it going up here? Looks like we're still winning the war. Dutch separatists kind of messing with Austria there. Commonwealth still allied with Persia. Yes, they are. Persia still at war with the Mamluks. Yes, they are. Uh, well, I should have this wall down pretty quickly. I've got a lot of cannons actually here. Yeah, we should have this really quickly. I'm getting a plus five bonus there. It's because of all the cannons I have. All right, Georgia still likes me. Bavaria should love me right now. Who else are we fighting alongside? Savoy, right? Why don't we improve relations with them? There was a couple other people, but they were mainly small. But Savoy was fairly large, so we'll improve relations with them. Try to get them to like us. Livonian Order actually likes us. They would actually take an alliance. I bet they don't like the Commonwealth. Just a guess. They're actually rivaled with Denmark and Novgorod. They actually... They have a CB against the Commonwealth, but they don't seem to have any opinion for them. Oh, five prestige. Um, nice. Awesome. So let's see what happened. So, um, we got 108 of those ducats that they had to give up. All right. We got 1.2 prestige because I helped out a lot. And, uh, they now owe us 18 favors. Awesome. So Bavaria is going to have to go to war, uh, with us now. 
because uh, they owe us pretty good. And uh, nice, we didn't lose our navy. Uh, we won the war. We got uh, a lot of ducats out of it. And uh, we've now got plenty of favors with Bavaria that they're pretty much going to have to help us no matter what in the future. I don't expect them to want to join a war with me now. But uh, we've got Bosnia. Bavaria actually would join a war with me. Georgia and Muscovy is telling me they would join the war if I promised them land. Muscovy, talk to me. Talk to me right now. What land do you want? What land are you thinking? I could give you all that land, Muscovy. I could give you all that land. I'll give you whatever you want. Okay, so things are looking pretty good now. Yes, morale of armies plus 15%. It's happening. We're getting ready. Gearing up for war. Let me just see if I can get maybe... I, oh, Georgia would join. Bavaria, Bosnia, Muscovy. Oh, if I could just get Austria. And they wouldn't join because they're war exhaustion. They're severely in debt because they're fighting... A, they just got out of a war, I believe. Yeah, they're out of a war, so they're hurting pretty bad. But if I can get Austria to join... Austria could beat the Commonwealth. Muscovy cannot beat the Commonwealth. No, I don't think they could. But I feel like Austria could. Talents of the Truth, Faith plus one. Actually, sorry. Yeah, actually, I thought about it. I think I might get that because that will give us the discipline plus 5%. Um, this, the, the discipline plus 5%, that's absolutely huge. That is going to make a huge difference with our armies. I think we got discipline 110% now. Yeah. That makes a pretty big difference on how much damage we actually do. So all we need now is for the Commonwealth to not join this war, and we could actually join it right now. Um, we could join it right now, but I think there's just too many people. It would just be too risky. We've just got to wait. A, we just got to hold out a little bit longer. Scotland's actually going to eat Great Britain. It's pretty impressive. You don't usually see that in a actual uh, Iron Man game. Uh, it's very rare for Scotland to still be around. But I'm happy with the outcome. So favors with you. We've got three favors, but the trust is 45. So trust is not bad. We'll improve relations. Do we have a still have a royal marriage with you? We do. We could um could send them some gold. Gain 50 diplomatic power gain 0.5 inflation. No, we'll just take the 10. Inflation's actually pretty on a pretty high uh Increase right now. Cost of reducing war exhaustion minus three three percent. We do plan on going to war, and so that could help. And then improve relations plus twenty five percent diplomatic reputation plus two. There's a lot of pretty good ones here. Province war score cost minus twenty percent. Um, however, I really need to get this up, so we'll just wait. We'll wait on that and reducing inflation. I've got national tax modifier. I don't have reduced inflation in there, so we're just not going to worry about it. I can roll for a general now. Why don't we go ahead and do that? What is our tradition? 18.2. We are probably not going to roll too well. It'll be a 20 because it rounds up or down. Rounds up or down. It just depends. It rounds up because it's higher than 15. But I mean, it's not going to really go up anyways. We might as well just roll. Okay. Four shocks. Okay. But you want fire now because um, we're, use, we're, in, uh, we're using uh, rifles now. Portugal tells us of hot chocolate. Mm, love hot chocolate. I really do. Do I enjoy hot chocolate very much? All right, war exhaustion is declining. Okay, they pieced out with the Mamluks. And the Commonwealth's just hanging out. So now we're just uh, kind of playing Cold War right now. 
Wells, we wait for uh, something kind of major to happen. So we are at the end of this episode. Like I said, playing Cold War right now. Basically, we're just kind of waiting for the right time to strike Persia. Um, we do know that lots of people will join us. Muscovia will join us if we promise them land. We know Bavaria will join us because they owe us favors. So really, if we can get Austria to join us, we'll have enough people to take on Persia and the Commonwealth at the same exact time. Um, especially if these guys come out of debt and join us. Well, actually, yeah. So if they come out of debt and join us, then we'll definitely have enough people to take them all, uh, take Persia and the Commonwealth on at the same time. If Austria will not join us, I'm afraid we may only be able to take on Persia. Don't think we could take the Commonwealth as well. So we may have to wait for something to happen, either Persia to get in a really big war that just wrecks them to the point where we can focus all of our efforts on the Commonwealth, or the Commonwealth to get into a big war with, say, like France, Spain, Sweden, somebody like that, to the point where the Commonwealth uh, doesn't join Persia. So we'll just have to kind of play it out and see what happens. However, thank you for joining me. I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.